I moved to Iceland. I moved to this country and I've fallen in love with you, Björk. Encouraging cousin fucking sons of bitches. <laughs> and I love it here. I do. I love it here. It's, it's an amazing country and I'm, I, I love learning about your culture. I love learning about your culture and trying to learn your language, which is tough. <laughs> A lot of people have said Icelandic is unnecessarily complex. I would agree with them. <laughs> For those foreigners in the audience who do not uh, know this, they have lots of different um, spellings of every noun. For instance, the word for table is borth. <laughs> it's a very sexy word. Borth. <laughs> do you like to come and eat some food from my borth? <laughs> Uh, but you know, it depends on how you're referring to it. For it, like, actually, the Icelanders in the room, we've got, we've got, got lots of you. So let's do the four different sayings of table together. All right, on the count of three: one, two, three. Four. Nobody cares. It's a fucking table. Sit in it, put something on it, or get the hell out of my apartment. But it's it's a tough language to learn. I, I once, uh, my mother was like, what is it like learning Icelandic? I said, I sometimes feel like I'm in one of those Saw movies. <laughs> when I'm in my Icelandic class, because each time the teacher would hand me a pen, I would feel like he was saying to me, let's play a game. <laughs> the antidote to the poison you've been ingesting since you entered the room is inside of this bag. <laughs> If you could conjugate it effectively, depending on how I refer to it, you will live. You have three minutes. Choose wisely. And each time I would die, I would really die. It was terrible. I've, I've also noticed, like, I love the Icelandic Language Protection Act you have here, so Icelanders do not take on foreign words. Um, they, they create their own word to protect their language, which is the reason why um, in all of, well, most of Europe, the word for TV is TV, or TV, or or in Denmark, <laughs> Danish is the only language that sounds like somebody's deep-throating someone. <laughs> But in Iceland, the word for TV is Sjónvarp. <laughs> Sight projection! <laughs> Beautiful. But what I've noticed since living here is that if you translate some of these words directly over to English, it makes Icelanders sound like future robot people. <laughs> so an everyday conversation could be, What says you? <laughs> Reading in Iceland, if I say it, I say you. Come into my house. It is also the word we use for building, which can be confusing. Why don't you take a seat? The site projection has pictures on it made from a picture machine. It is almost time for the news. The newsman will deliver it to us. Later, there will be a documentary from a science man. You look hungry. Would you like some small cake? That's cookies. Small caca. Sometimes I feel the need to inform Icelanders what caca means in the rest of Europe. Are you cold? Your spear warts are sticking out. It's nipple. Geirata. Spear warts. Probably because it gets so cold here, you could use them as weapons. Run through a crowd of angry Vikings. Slide them off at the end. 
another favorite. We are very good friends. We have had sex with the same people. We are belly brother-in-laws. Of course you have a word for that. Green Mauer. By the laughter that's happening, I'm guessing you two are. You do live in Iceland. Every gay man here is one. There's ten of us. Um, another favorite. Oh, would you like to try on my cow herding stepping machines? Kurek is to be. Cow herding stepping machine. Cowboy boot. That's what that means. Yeah. But I do, I do have, um, I, I struggle a little bit with the Icelandic language um, because often, like, Icelanders are not used to their language being spoken with an accent. So, uh, you know, I get in a cab often and I say to the cab driver my address, which the street is Mowenli, right? And the cab driver always says, HA! <laughs> which is Icelandic for, I beg your pardon. <laughs> What you say? Could you kindly repeat yourself, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> and I say, "Oh, Ali, ha, no, ha, ha." You know what I'm saying? I guess I do. <laughs> make a point there. I come from a country that has a mishmash of cultures and many languages. And uh, if I worked in a supermarket in Australia and somebody came through the checkout and I said to them, that'll be $49.95, thanks. And they said to me, could I also get some cash out? If I said to them, I'm sorry, I need you to repeat what you just said exactly the same way that I've known how to say it since I started speaking in order for me to understand you, despite the fact that you've already tried to meet me halfway by speaking my language, that would make me a cunt! <laughs> you have one favorite word in your language. It's an amazing word. The Icelandic word for shelf. Hitler. <laughs> the Icelandic word for shelf is Hitler. <laughs> Just rolls off the tongue. <laughs> A land full of very white people. <laughs> Your word for shelf is Hitler. <laughs> And it makes me think about what it would, you know, sometimes like I'm in my room and I look around and I think, oh, I just don't have enough Hitler in my life. <laughs> I choose so much more Hitler. I mean, there's no Hitler in this room. <laughs> how, are they, how are they surviving without any Hitler? <laughs> Maybe they have some Hitler here? Some Hitler there? Some Hitler almost everywhere. Careful hand placement there, wasn't it? <laughs> but sometimes I think, what would it be like to be an interior designer in this country? Imagine like walking through an apartment with a couple. It's like, okay, so what are we going to do here? Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> also, that was hard to get used to when I, I thought you had heart defects from inbreeding. <laughs> And then for a while I thought, maybe you're just so polite you stop breathing while other people speak. And then you're, you're talking and I said, it was like... <laughs> and I realized you're not that polite when I saw a foreigner fall down in the street the the just scatter like cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that polite. <laughs> Any foreigner who has Icelandic friends knows you're not polite because you never introduce us. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> like, it's just a stranger in front of you. They, 
here, there might be like Bjarni over here, and then this is Elva, and you go, I'm just gonna wait. It's rude, I should let him introduce me. Oh, no, oh, I don't exist. Hi, I'm Jono. Okay. Um, but what was I? Oh yeah, the Hitler. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to? Okay, we're going to put a Hitler here, and on it you can put the shoes of all the children you've had from previous relationships. Because I say that people don't date; they have sex while drunk. Five children, and six years later they realize that wasn't such a great idea. Lather, rinse, repeat. Um, and then we need another shelf here. Hitler, Hitler. Hitler, Hitler. And on it you can put all of your broken dreams. Because you spent so much money on children from previous relationships when you could have just worn a condom. And everybody always forgets about the space right there of our heads. There's so much room there. So much. So I think over here, what we should do is put in a whole shelf, a hay 